This isn't for eating. It's going to hang for a day or two, just to let the insects leave and to dry any surface moisture. I'm going to make smudge sticks with it. I was pleased with my onion harvest. The shallots aren't bad this year either. That cucumber. I had hoped it would grow a little bit, but no, it remained as stunted as it was in its small pot. It's coming out. Even though I'd taken so much sage from this herb bed, there's still a lot left. It really needs some management here now. Each time I harvested potatoes, I immediately replanted with some I had chitting, but a little shriveled. But look, they've come up already. The butternut squash has taken off, but only four sweet corn have survived out of the 20 plants that I had. The beans fight their way up through the wild strawberries and finally find their little Klingon place. He's finally produced. I grew this from a sucker and it's got its own little sucker now. I did have to take a lot of foliage off these tomatoes. They were gnarled and they were stunted but thankfully some new growth happened. And I had to strip this one back almost bare. But I let the suckers grow so the plants could replace their dead foliage. I left the gnarly leaves on this plant because it had produced fruit. But all of the plants were very stunted and all of the leaves looked much worse than they do here. Not picture-perfect tomatoes, but nevertheless, I have tomatoes. And at the end there is a group of piccolo. <laughs> Again, an awful lot of suckers. I hope I get a harvest this year.
and a quick look at the brassica bed. I think the savoy cabbages are doing well and the red cabbages. And where the shallots had grown and before that the onions, I replanted Bedfordshire champion onions which I had grown from seed. I should have a harvest in the autumn and here I must have planted 250 beans. Ah, they're starting to grow now, but again the slugs attacked just about every plant as soon as it popped its head up. So here's the plot. It's nice to have a few flowers on the plot, but the aphids are never far away.